Graham Mack. Ollie, you've gone undercover. Where exactly are you right now? I am on Britney Spears' floor at the moment. I've actually contacted an ex-employee of the Hyatt Hotel who I know. Now, at the end of the corridor, mm. um, there are some people sat outside a room. Um, uh, how come you're managing to not be detected there, Ollie? Wouldn't that be suspicious you're on the floor there? Right now, I'm in a cupboard. Oh, okay. cupboard. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. Right, that makes sense. Okay, well, yeah, so I what mean, What can you see from, I suppose you look, well, you're looking through the key hole? No, it's a crack in the door. Yeah, to be yeah. honest, all I can see is a couple of the rooms and the doors are closed. Yeah. But I have had, I have widened it and had a quick look and yeah. I can see two people. One sat down, one stood up. Right. They're outside a room at the end of the corridor. Are I, they I suits? Think, suits and shades? Earpieces? Um, not shades. Can't, can't say earpieces, but certainly the suits. They'll be They're the Spears that. Mafia. It's her handlers. It's those people that are stopping her getting to me. I know she really wants to talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's what's going on there now. So there's I'm, no, no I'm, movement at all. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm just sat in this blooming broom cupboard. All right, well, just sit tight there, Ollie. We'll talk to you later on. Okay. Okay, mate. Cheers. Bye. Right. It's annoying. Someone has just called me again and hung up in my ear. Well, don't do that. I will. One, four, seven, one, you. Hello? Hello, who's this? Oh, sorry, Graham. I, um, pressed that by mistake. I thought it was my daughter's number, and it wasn't. <laughs> I beg your pardon. What's your name? Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, spit it out. Sheila. <laughs> Sheila. Yeah. Let me put this down here. Sheila. Oh, please don't. Far-fetched excuse. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you got Ollie stuck in the cupboard. Yes. Well, uh, forget about it, not Britney Spears. Why yeah. don't you just phone the boys and tell them you got a stalker stuck on uh, Britney Spears' floor? Yeah. Yeah. And they'd have to get everybody off that floor, wouldn't they, for their own safety? Yeah, and then you can <laughs> run in, you'll get your interview then. Thank you. <laughs> All right, then. There you are. Ta-da. Talking uh, Wednesday, I think it was, about Halloween when I was a kid, used to make jack-o'-lanterns out of turnips. Now, no one believes me. Sean's on the phone. No, you can't do turnips. They're too small. I, no, no, we used to... I'm telling you, we used... It was hard work, because it's a bloody tough, tougher turnip. Swedes. We used, used to do Swedes, because we couldn't afford pumpkins. We were poor. We were really poor. Well, I'd never even seen a pumpkin. We used to make them out of turnips. No one believes me. We did. We made them out of turnips. You're used raving. To, I'm this not. I used to put a little night light in there, and they used to go black on the top on the little lid bit you'd made. And if you buggered up the eyes, you'd lost half of it. It was a real. It was much more of a skill than pumpkin carving. I tell you. I think you've lost it, Graham. <laughs> it's true. We used to make jack o' lanterns and turnips. <laughs> You're mad. Britney Spears is, is across the road in the Hyatt Regency on Broad Street. There's a big crowd outside there trying to get her out. We've got people with uh, loud hailers and megaphones. I sent Ollie from uh, Ollie in the Eye over there. He managed to infiltrate the hotel, get on the same floor that Britney's staying on, and was hidden in a cupboard last time I talked to him on his phone. I haven't been able to get hold of him at, since. I, I don't know what's going on. Mick's on the phone there. Mick, you, you've been trying to get hold of her as well. Well, what I did, I phoned uh, up the Hyatt Hotel. Yeah. And I spoke to that Graham. Yeah. And I put the wind up in. What'd you say? I turned around and I told him, I says, listen, we know who they're there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, he turned around and she said, oh, is this B-R&B playing a joke again? I said, I don't think so. No, we're not playing a joke, I'm deadly I said, serious. I am serious. I said, uh, you know what I mean? If you get off your backside and have a look out, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You'll see the crowd around, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. And he's panicking and all of a sudden I went back to the receptionist, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he did the same trick to me. He, you know, flicked me from one phone to the other, yeah. Yeah, and I just don't... How's Ali doing in the cupboard? <laughs> well, well, his phone... I can't get on to him at the moment. His, his, his phone's not responding. Oh, but I'm a... not surprised if he's that close to him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Party <laughs> Did you know that there are thousands of people listening to this all over the world at brmb.co.uk on the internet? Two of my very special friends live in New Zealand and they're listening right now. And it would be a real buzz if you all said hello to them. Their names are Roy and Marlene. So on the count of three, I want you to say, Hello, Roy and Marlene. One, two, three. Hello, Roy and Marlene. 
what a day yesterday. Britney Spears refused to talk to me. From now on, I won't be playing any more of her songs. She was only over the road. She was in the Hyatt Hotel on Broad Street. We had an angry crowd outside there chanting because she wouldn't talk to the people of Birmingham on their local radio station. Ollie in the Eye had infiltrated the hotel, was on the floor that her room is on. He was hiding in the cupboard. It all got, there's a bloke called Graham who's in charge there who got really upset. He, you know, security had been breached and he's... Hang on a sec. Hello? Oh, Graham, um, I found you yesterday about Britney Spears. Yeah, what about her? Yeah. I went down there yesterday. I found Elliot just after you showed to tell him I was going down there. Yeah. And I went down, and yeah, then I went down in my whistle and flute. Right. Oh, looked yeah. at business with oh, the yeah. briefcase. Yeah, yeah. Went. And the ninth floor, you said it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and looking for Ollie in the cupboard. Yeah? Yeah, well, I ended up doing the whole 24 floors and getting kicked out. She All has... I seen there was one big mother, and he was big. What? She got a coloured geezer looking after the man. That'll be it. Where were they? That, well, they were circulating yeah. down in the foyer. Well, where was she? Well, I, I didn't see her, you know what I mean? But I checked, and I mean, even the, uh, you know, the cleaning stuff. Yeah. They started to get suspicious because I was going floor to floor, weren't I? Yeah. And I bumped into the same same uh, housemate twice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I said, I'm dyslexic. And I'm walking around with this briefcase. And you believe me? And I said, uh, can you tell me where uh, Mrs. Spears is? Like, the room. Right. Ne never heard of her. And then you've got that Graham running around. He's looking like a penguin in his suit. Right. He's running around and there's uh, security guards with him. Yeah. So whatever you started yesterday, man. Yeah. But I've been the whole 24 floors, mate. <laughs> Were you watching Central News at 6 last night? They did a piece on there that if it was on American TV, it would have been banned. Anyway, we can now join our reporter, Steve Keeling, who's at the headquarters of the Save the Faggot campaign. Steve. Yes, Bob, this is where the battle of the black country faggots taking place. And for the younger viewer at home who may not know what a black country faggot looks like, they look like this. <laughs> my word, that is a different approach. I know you were going on about Britney Spears. Yeah. Well, one of my friends went to see her at the NEC. Yeah. And apparently she really embarrassed herself because she fell off the stage when she was dancing. You see, this is this is the <laughs> day after I I, uh, I fell out with her and she became a foe of the show. And bad things have already started happening to her. <laughs> yeah. There are forces at work that even I can't control. I know. I just thought you might want to know. Uh, that's a warning to funny. anybody else who's thinking about becoming a foe of the show. Bad things happen to you. This is not personal. It's strictly business. Graham Mack. Graham Mack. Oh, Graham. <laughs> I, I tell mine two children. Okay. And the youngest is only four. Right. And if you say to him, I just spell Bar Birmingham, it goes B R M B, Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Good Christmas and New Year, Ollie? Yeah, lovely, thanks. Yeah. Visit, visit family and that? Yeah, I did actually, yeah, I did that, yeah. Yeah, I, um, I hate it when you visit people and they've got a baby. Oh, yeah? Because they're like, I walk in and go, hey, how's it going? Merry Christmas, whatever. And they get, <laughs> the baby's asleep. Yeah. The baby's asleep. Yeah. Why is it so important for these babies to get their sleep? It's, you know, it's not like they've got to be up for work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Graham Mack. <laughs> How are you, Karen? I'm fine, thanks. It's all right. I've just, I've just been trying to do my exercises for my bad knee, and I've been in beating. <laughs> 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 you want a breath of fresh air to the right. <laughs> Gem, you may me help you. Yeah, hello. Can I talk to whoever's in charge, please? In charge of what? Of GMTV. In what respect? Well, There's quite a few managers and various people here. So, if you could tell me what it's regarding. There's a, do you have a brand manager that manages the brand GMTV? I still don't quite understand what you mean. Um, could you elaborate, please? Okay, my name's Graham Mack. Yeah. My initials are GM. And I want to do a TV show, and I want to call it GMTV. But you've already got that name. That's correct. But your initials aren't GM. Let me put you on to um, our duty officer. No, I'm sorry, I've just realised they're out there off until half twelve. Uh, if you could bear with me a moment. Okay. 
Hello. Hello there. Who's this? It's Judy Phelps. I work for Mansion Director. Can I help you? Yeah, my name's Graham Mack. Uh huh. And, and I'm, I'm I want to put a TV show on the air. Uh huh. My initials are GM. Yeah. I want to call it GM TV. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid you wouldn't be able to do that because we're all, we're already registered as GM TV. But that hardly seems fair. I mean, does anybody there have the initials GM? <laughs> well, it actually stands for Good Morning, so yes. It stands for Good Morning? Good Morning Television. Right. Who came up with that? Can I ask who you are, please? My name's Graham Mack. Well, if you'd like to write in, that's fine, and um, obviously I can ask the... Uh, um, commercial director and lawyer to write back to you but um i would suggest that that would be a problem because we are already registered right so so once you've got in first is this like these internet names once you've got it that's yes. it well would i'm it... afraid that that's like it all over the world whatever yeah whatever names are uh, oh, yes if you've registered that's the whole point of registry right so, so would the name be for sale no it wouldn't Oh. We're a national TV station. We haven't got it up for sale, no. You're not, you're not going to sell... I'm sorry, I'm extremely busy. If, if you've got any queries, if you'd like to write in, that's fine. As I said, direct your letter to Simon Davey and we can respond. His name is Simon Davey. That's right, at GMTV. And it's the London Television Centre, Upper Ground, London, SE1, 9TT. Right, because like... Cause, well, what if I'm I went, sorry, I'm going to have to go now. What I if apologise. I went, what if I went and bought SDTV and did you swap? That would be kind of cool goodbye. for him. Graham Mack. Graham Mack. Hi, Graham. It's Rachel Jones. Great to talk to you, Rachel. What can I do for you? Um, it's probably one of the first times I've ever listened to you in the morning. I just want to say it's fantastic. You've got a wonderful sense of humour. I'm just looking for a giggle. You're a very sick person. This is a serious kind <laughs> of fair show, and it's people like you laughing at me that are undermining my credibility. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you given up for Lent? When was Lent? This, this is Lent. When did it start? By Wednesday, we had Pancake Tuesday, right? And then Ash Wednesday. That's when the Lent officially starts. Let's see, what haven't I done since Wednesday? Oh my God, I've given up sex. <laughs> <laughs> Graham Mack. Hey Graham, this is John Kingsley. Great to talk to you, John. What can I do for you? Well, let me tell you something. We've, I've just had the missus here. She's been in tears. She's just gone off again. But uh, we've had. A, she's had all of her cards and whatever stolen this morning or whatever. Oh, no. I've been trying to console and then you come on with that joke and the two of us just collapsed in a bloody heap on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, Graham. Graham Mack. My husband thinks that, that most of your show's pre-recorded and you're not really there, so we were just phoning just to find out whether you were there or not. Well, what do you think? If I wasn't, well, then I hey! Said, I said yeah, but right. he said no. Oh, right. So he reckons I'm not here. He says he's sitting in your house with your feet off. I'll tell you what, I'll ring myself up at home, and if I'm not there, I must be here. <laughs> Hello? Graham Mack? Yeah? Uh, this woman, Pauline, her husband reckons the show's not live. Well, you are live, because I'm listening to you here, so you must be. But her husband reckons I'm not. Well, why don't you give her the time? W what's the time right now? Uh, sixteen and a half minutes past eight. Well, that should do it. That should sort it out. All right, thanks, Graham. Bye. Right, ta-ra. <laughs>